So, I got kind of a decision to make, sort of, kind of, or at least something on the table. So, I have someone I could move in with. It'd be like 400 a month, or maybe 425. But in kind of explaining, like, how, how much money I have, or like, because a person asked about income, and then, like, income, I don't have much going on, per se, but, like, in justifying and, like, explaining the month, like, the money that I have, like, I realized, because I checked my one other card, and I do have over a thousand in that card, so altogether, I have, like, three thousand, and so I have, like, three thousand, so that, I mean, I don't know, I feel like maybe I kind of knew that, maybe, I don't know how the other card keeps staying over like a thousand because like I mean I don't spend much money on food but like I spend some money on food like so it's I don't know and someone should be paying me back like a hundred and fifty dollars and someone else it, like I'll be able to get forty dollars back from from borrowing them money and then there's technically like ninety two dollars somewhere else that I haven't done anything with because I don't know if I should, I didn't know if I should pay that last roommate for keys or not, and I wanted to, so I, I don't know, like that was a thing for me, so I just haven't taken that money, but it's there for me to take, um, or at least it was, I guess I haven't checked it for a while, but then, so like in realizing that I have 3000 that's like, like, that's a good amount of money, like, I mean, I guess it's all um, perception, because some people have thousands of dollars saved up, and, like, you know, I'm, I'm almost 30 for people who think in terms of, like, saving money for retirement or whatever, like, 3000 but it, comparative to what I normally have saved up, that's, uh, I mean, to me, <laughs> that feels good, and I'm not the only one, but, like, there are some people that that would be, like, nothing, or maybe not nothing, but, like, Yes, meaningful. But, um, and then another thing is that, like, as far as, like, my fist styles and, like, developing, like, fighting styles and, like, going through all these, like, elements and stuff, Cold Wind was what was the first one that I had to deal with, or Wind was the first one I had to deal with. And then, like, Bugs and stuff like that, but, like, Snow that level of cold would be, like, the final frontier, um, and, like, and if I do get a place that I'm kind of, like, skipping that, like, and I'm, like, acquaintances with this person, and this will last, it looks like this lease would last for like a year. And like, it's not always that there's going to be someone that has a place available. Um, this isn't like at first, because I was looking for cheap, like I didn't want to get a place unless it was a cheap amount of rent or, I don't know, unless it was something special. But I also, I got to a point... And now maybe I'm reversing it, like, that the feeling, but, like, I, I had gotten to a point where, like, I didn't care about saving up money, which before was kind of, like, the benefit. And then it got to a point that, like, I just, I don't know, I feel like I didn't, it's kind of like I didn't care about saving money, or it, it wasn't about saving, I don't know. Because initially in this journey, like, with it being rent-free, like, the thing was that I was able to save all this money, more or less, even though, in reality, realizing that, like, oh, it's because of the stimulus check, it's because of t getting taxed back, whatever, um, that I have potentially the highest amount of money that I've had. But also, something that I also realized is that even the 1000 that I had before that I'm comparing it to, even that 
the reason that I had that a thousand was because I, because of that um, NFL award show gig, stagehand gig. Like we got like an, a near a thousand dollar thing, more or less, from that week in the cities. So even that that I'm comparing it to is also from something that happened at a certain period or in a certain year. I think that would have been the beginning of 2018, maybe. So yeah, even though the part of the 3,000 comes from stimulus check, taxes, that 1,000 that I'm comparing it to came from a unique gig or a unique situation, a unique gig. But um, yeah, even though I got to a point that like I started to not, that I kind of just saving up money kind of lost its its uh, sparkle or whatever or value or I or didn't necessarily care as much about that anymore. And realizing today that I have three thousand, like that feels that's like oh. And then and then even as far as the cold, like I ran into this guy on like maybe on Sunday. Maybe. But um sometime, some days ago, and actually like God looking out or maybe people are praying for me or something, but like the day like, the first day that it was, like, cold, like, I don't know if it was earlier of the day that it, like, got cold, or right before the first day of cold, but, like, there's this guy that just came into town, and he had this blanket that apparently he had from years ago, apparently it cost him $80, it's a good blanket, and it's an Indian blanket, IB, um, and it's, and it did because, like, I walked by Salvation Army and there were Native Americans that were like, oh, that's a, like, they recognized it, like, right, like, um, but, like, he, he gave, so he said it was $20, I just left my backpack at the, um, like, in the seating area, kind of close to the library, and I went to Wells Fargo, um, and then, and got some cash and came back and gave him 20 and he gave me the blanket and I like bowed to him and I like gave him a hug and like and it's a good blanket but then I went and put it in my storage place um but then I have this other like little like bedspread type blanket that I've been using which isn't as great as that blanket because I've used the Indian blanket to sleep and that ish is and it even has like a it's like almost like a plastic suitcase type thing like a plastic transparent suitcase almost um but I put that in the storage area, so, um, because otherwise, even though, if I want to be, I should be good at hiding stuff at this point, but it just felt right, so I just went with it and just left it there, um, and then I do have this bedspread because there's one night that I was at the windbreak, and then, um, I was still in that area for a little bit, but then I was about to, maybe I was about to start walking away from that area, and then there's this guy that had kind of got into a fight earlier, or got into a situation earlier, and he was going to give me a ride, but um, I just gave him a ride close to where he was in the walk from there, which also helped me, but close to where I got off from, um, there is like just all this stuff outside someone's house at night, and in the manner that looks like it's for anyone to take or they want to throw it away. And some stuff was wet, so I didn't take some. So there's, otherwise I would have taken, like, this blanket type thing, but there's this bedspread that was, like, mermaids or whatever, and I ended up taking that. Um, so it's not, like, but it helps. It's not perfect, but it helps. <laughs> so if, a, but if I get a place, then I'm kind of forfeiting kind of like the final frontier but at the same time like but but then there's all these like little things that have like popped up that like there's 
there's a place that now I know a place to like to go shower if I if I want to like like okay I need to shower there's a place that like it costs like fifteen dollars or something but like I could shower there can eat stuff and watch TV or whatever like there's a kind of truck stop type area that all this time like I I I had thought of truck stops before but like now I know one that's like not even that difficult to get to per se um and then on top of that at the one church that I started going to, like on Sundays at night, they play basketball. So there's an opportunity to play basketball, but then I can also shower there after that. Um, so, like, there's little things, like, as I go through this journey, like, there's things that God puts there that, like, like, literally the blanket I got, like, I think either the day before it started getting cold or the day that it started getting cold. Like, maybe that night was the first night it was cold, and maybe it was already cold that day, but, like, it, like... So... There's there's progressions, there's... There's help. So, like... So, I, I don't know, like... But also, this would help the person... Like, even though in reality, like, it would be for me to get a, to get a place, like, and I can try to, to disguise that and be like, oh, but it's actually, help. I mean, helping someone is good, but, like, it's, it's not like, that, like, this is a journey, this is a challenge, so, like, to get out of it is, you know, is solid footing, or, well, at least it would seem like solid footing, but it would help the other person because their girlfriend just left and now they're paying their whole, like, thing. Um, and so I'll be able to help with that payment. Um, and also maybe just be a, perhaps maybe just be a friend to them in like a, like a, maybe a challenging emotional time, like breaking up with this girlfriend and just stuff with that. But I don't know. You know what's interesting is that, like, even though, I don't know if I talked about this in a, in a previous video, I feel like I've maybe talked about it somewhere, but, like, labels, like, what's the truth of them, and, like, homeless is the label that goes with, and that, it's such a powerful word with, like, such a negative association of like experiences and situation and it is a challenge but like for me this has been like a huge growth experience like this is like huge and maybe it does fit the pattern of development periods that I have been noticing this year that I feel like have happened like the one week that I called quarantine queasiness that I had a series, a YouTube series about Ramadan and this. Because there's, there's powerful development that's happened. But labels, like, like I've always been, because I don't have a car, I, I've always kind of appeared homeless to some people or in some situations. And, like, now that I actually am homeless, homeless, at least as far as, like, that label is concerned, like, 
it's not like it's all the same. Like it, it, there's no difference of um, perception. Like it's all the same. <laughs> like no one looks different. People, people that just love this bathroom, and that's another thing that God did. Like even though I got rid of this hair that people loved for like, oh, you look like Kimbo Slice, you look like James Harden. Like I got rid of that, and then I. I didn't put this on with the intention of, like, oh, I need to find something else that's cool, but, like, this is something that, like, I actually rock, like, more so than my hair, because I didn't even like the hair that I had. It was just that, like, I kept it for other people because my hair wasn't super important to me, and if people like it, then so be it, and then, like, I can do that if it means something to people, but then I just didn't trim it because I made that something for me as far as, like, a metaphor for people, how they grow at different, like how they grow differently and you're not going to make the people that grow at a small amount you can't make them grow faster and the people that grow faster you're not going to make them grow slower and like not making them all equal and not trimming it equally so that's why I didn't trim it but I kept it longer for other people for that whole Kimbo Slice James Harden thing um but then I got rid I finally finally shaved and then like now there's this and people love this bath bathroom but I didn't I didn't do it with the intention of like, oh, I lost one thing or gimmick or, or maybe not gimmick, but like, I don't know, but I lost something I need to replace it with something else. Like, God just has that come about. Um, but like, I feel like I've said this in a different video. I don't know if it's in, I don't know where, but like, with the different labels that there are, like, sometimes, sometimes there's truth in them. Like, hom homeless, though, has such, like, a negative connotation, like, of, or just connected with certain experiences, certain perception, like, this is, like, a powerful journey that I just went through, or am going through. And, like, homeless does not give, it's, that's, that doesn't, the right term for this experience would be, like, foundational, found, foundational, or, but then if, if you have to make it as, like, a, state, like homelessness is a state, so foundational, so to, to put it as a, a, a word that's like a state, or a phrase that's like a state, um, develop, developing, or ba base, foundation forming, forming, form, forming, no, could say flooring, you know, kind of like putting a solid ground underneath you as far as like development wise, you could maybe say flooring, that's maybe how it describe like what would give truth to this three month period or whatever that I've had, three and a half months at this point, um, Rising, rising could be one, flooring, usually in this series, if I put this in the series that I think I'm going to put it in, though, I've, it has to be, the word has to end in full or less or even free or something, um, so I don't know what I'd say for that, but. But yeah, I might, I don't know, flooring, de 
developing, rising. If I didn't say that already. Founding. Ooh, founding. I kind of like that. It doesn't fit into the whole it ending in full, less, or free, or whatever, but founding. Yeah, there's all these labels. Maybe I just thought about it. Maybe I've actually talked about it in a video, but like all the things that you could think you could, if you want to describe someone as married, if you want to describe someone as divorced, if you want to describe someone as homosexual, if you want to describe someone as black, if you want to describe someone as a girl or a guy, like how much does a label actually capture the truth of the experience? How much does a name even capture the truth of a person if the name has meaning? Like if your name actually means something, are you, does that actually capture you? So homelessness does not capture this period for me. Like it's a struggle in the way that being homeless is a struggle. But even then, is it the one thing that I realized when I talked to this one person from, um, because I've been going, there's sometimes I've gone to these two church services in the same place. There's a, there's Calvary Method, Methodist Church and African Calvary Methodist Church. And from Calvary Methodist Church, there's this one guy that I was talking to. And what I realized is that like, like I, I have money though. Like people that go through this experience, they normally don't have money. I mean, some, I don't know, some people maybe kind of do, I don't know, or some people, like, maybe stay in a hotel and pay for that, but, like, that's one thing, because when the one dude was from church was describing, like, oh, he's been through this, um, but, like, like, I, it's not that I don't have money, it's like, oh, crap, like, I have nothing, like, I have that, as, like, even as a self-esteem booster, I suppose. I don't know, maybe there's even a better word than founding. Founding is decently good. Um, maybe there's something that's even better. Crawling. Crawling could kind of be, because craw it's crawling kind of indicates a struggle. And a baby is normally who crawls. Ooh, crawling. And then I don't know how to turn that into terms of less or full, but like, feedless, I don't know, standing less. Walkless, I don't know. But crawling, that actually is kind of a good one. I like that. But, um, yeah, so, like, because you, maybe, I, I don't know, I, I don't know if I made a video about this, but, like, I know I've thought of, I think, 
maybe it's just that I've thought about this, but, like, you can look at someone as, like, divorced. And, like, does that capture their situation? Does that capture all of them? Does that capture the truth of that experience for them? You can look at someone as married. Does that capture... Would it, and and I've, I've thought about this before, so, like, in recent weeks or whatever, or recent days, like, instead of married, you could... Maybe it could be, like, I'm in a bond with someone or something like that. But then at the same time, married tells you is cut is, is helpful, like, towards... Because if you're in a bond with someone, like, you don't know to what level. Like, are you girlfriend, boyfriend? Are you married? So, but, like, but at the same time, to say, like, you're in a bond with someone that's more, I don't know, beautiful, more something, maybe. Um... single what if you're happy and you're single like me i'm i desire someone so single can kind of capture me but what if there's someone who's single and they're just like happy like they're just free single almost implies that like you need someone so like maybe for someone else they should they should it like single doesn't capture the connotation that goes with single maybe isn't for them so but yeah, outside of this three-month period, inside this three-month period, as far as people are concerned, and, like, my state of homelessness or whatever, like, nobody cares. Like, all the people rock with me who rock with me, for the most part, like, it doesn't. Because I already, because I don't have a car, and because, like, I, would, I always carry a backpack. Um, because I usually have some, I don't know, rip or I guess I do know, but, like, I usually have a religious text of the year that I'm reading. So, since I don't have a car, have it in a backpack, carry the backpack with me, but I think the backpack and then maybe also how my hair was makes it seem like there, there's certain characteristics that match homelessness, so. Because there are people that, like, were, there's definitely people that, whether it's a gas station worker or, like, a friend so, like, there would be people that would be, like, concerned or would think something when I did, when I, when I wasn't homeless or wasn't, like, when I did have a place, there were people that, like, had those kinds of concerns, so, and now, and now I don't, I don't know if, it might be hard to, like, put my finger on, but, like, I don't know if anyone has concern off of just how I look at this point. Hi, V. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. You doing all right? <laughs> how are you? Did you have a nice nap out there in the lawn? I did. <laughs> <laughs> it was decent. Nice day for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, especially with how cold it was, how cold it's been the last couple of days. Yeah. But you got a warm robe on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And a, and a little, like, blanket type thing. <laughs> so I, I got some stuff. <laughs> yeah, I feel all right. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, I think labels just don't give... <laughs> it's not just people's situations. It's like... I don't know, there's just ways that you can label things, and like, does it give truth? Like, for example, a clownfish, like, does a clownfish really describe that? What if there's something amazing, like some amazing trait about a clownfish, and, but we just look at it as a clownfish based on what its outside skin looks like? Like, what if, um, like a fly? Why is a fly called a fly? Like, that doesn't even... Like, a, a bird isn't called a fly, but it can fly. Like, what if there's some unique trait about a fly that more so captures what it is? Like, labels, names, like... They don't always capture the full truth of the 
thing they're trying to capture. If I said this journey was painless, that would work as far as uh, the whole less full free thing. Or should I say it, label free? I don't know. But crawling, crawling is kind of, kind of like that. So I don't know. I could proceed with the cold and the snow. And God would take care of me. jump in with this guy and I don't know which is what I should do because going through snow would yield another maybe another fist style another difficulty and it's the last one I think like after snow like what I've already gone through rain I've gone through storms I've gone through bugs like that's all the seasons around here have to offer. If I lived in like Florida or something, there would be like heat or whatever, but. So I don't know. Just that realizing that I have like essentially $3,000, like, is what kind of changed things for me, because otherwise I was talking about moving in with him to him. saving money stopped being the thing but in realizing that I have like 3,000 like it feels nice and it's like hmm. and I haven't faced the snow yet that level of cold yet and it's almost better to like just be outside of the base it than to like have a place and think that you're away from it and then have to keep refacing every time you go outside instead of just directly facing it and being in it experience changes like it's the 